thanks to generations of Chinese and American leaders and the people, China-U.S. relations have made remarkable progress. However, today, some of Americans' misunderstanding and misjudgment about China is building up. A fundamental one is to define America's relations with China as democracy versus authoritarianism and to stoke up ideological confrontation, which has led to serious difficulties in China-U.S. relations. China and the U.S. are different in history, culture, and the political system. But just as President Carter said, both the American and the Chinese people desire peace and the prosperity. And the leaders in Washington and Beijing share one common goal, to create peaceful and stable conditions for their people to pursue happiness. This is the biggest commonality between China and the U.S. We never say that our system is the best because we know only the suited is the best. Whether it is good or not should not be judged by what we say, but what we do. Our two countries should not and cannot change each other. Instead, we should break ideological barriers, discard zero-sum mentality, respect other countries and accommodate each other without losing our own distinctions so as to get along with each other in peace. President Xi stressed China and the United States need to show broad vision and shoulder great responsibilities. The two countries should look ahead and press forward and bring China-U.S. relations back to the red track of stable development as soon as possible for the good of the people in both countries and around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, let us demonstrate strategic courage and the political resolve to chart a new course in China-U.S. relations.